Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is Monday, December 2nd, 2019, and I'm back for another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how I use my new La Rose 7.25 round Dutch oven to make my famous chili recipe. Uh, in this chili recipe, I use ground turkey, uh, but you could use ground beef. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but I got this particular Dutch oven because I didn't want to ruin the seasoning in my standard Dutch oven. Uh, standard cast iron, which you can if you don't have many layers of seasoning built up. Just want to give you a warning because La Creuse is not pronounced right. Uh, when I made this, uh, the chili part of the video, I <coughs> made it about a week ago, but just didn't have time to put it together and edit it because Thanksgiving and I was super, super busy with a ton of stuff. I just, I squeeze every minute of every day sometimes. I virtually don't relax. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. It's December 2nd, and when you're watching this, it may be December 3rd or late December 2nd. But I hope you enjoy seeing my chili recipe in this Le Creuset uh, 7.25 uh, quart Dutch oven. So here we go. Hi guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. I am back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I'm using my new Le Creuset 7.25 quart Dutch oven to make chili, uh, tomato based chili, and that's one of the reasons why I purchased this. So we're letting it warm up right now, and uh, while, while it's warming up, I was uh, browsing through this, and just some things to keep in mind if you're contemplating buying one of these things. It says to uh, let it warm up, and go ahead and spray your, put your oil your uh, butter, whatever you're going to use as your uh, fat ingredient. Go ahead and spray while it's warming up. So I don't usually do that with cast iron per se, but with this, that's what the instructions said, so I'm going to follow the instructions. And you want to let it uh, warm up for a few minutes before you cook on it. It is cast iron, so it has to get warm before it can do the job. Now, after you're done uh, cooking and cleaning out the pan, what have you, you can soak it for 15 to 20 minutes in water and then wash it with hot soapy water, but you want to stick with non-abrasive pads. You can put this in the dishwasher, but I would advise against it. As the instruction guide said, if you do that, it could result in the dulling of the enamel finish. And one of the things we like about Le Crisette is the beautiful enamel finish on the Dutch ovens and bakers and skillets and all their product line. So I would recommend hand washing. It's kind of similar to Pyrex. Pyrex you're really not supposed to put in the dishwasher because if you do it will have a dulling of the finish and it will look bad. Even the Revere Wear um, lids, will, their black knobs on top of the lids will fade out if you put them in the dishwasher, which I've done. but. Uh, they don't recommend doing that. So we're letting this warm up, and it's been warming up now for, oh, a couple of minutes or so. But uh, I'll show you, while it's finishing warming up, I'll show you the ingredients of my chili. I've made this before uh, in just a stock pot. But we have a cup of onion and a cup of green pepper chopped. And we have, I use red cooking wine. And this is Roland. It doesn't really matter the brand, whatever brand you want. You're supposed to use three quarters of a cup per every pound of meat. So I put two pounds of meat in here. I'm going to use ground turkey today. And so I'm going to use a cup and a half of red wine. And then you want to use two 14.5 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. I have one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And then we have two cans of tomato sauce, which we're going to use. Two of them, eight ounce, eight ounces each. We can see that there. It's hard to see in the light. And then, uh, you know, then of course your beans. And I have, I'll walk over to the sink. I've already rinsed them and gotten them out of the cans. Our dark red kidney beans, three cans. A uh, normal can uh, would be... Uh, 15.5 ounces or 15 ounces, whatever they have. Um, so I got three cans of dark red um, kidney beans 
And then one can of garbanzo beans, because we like that in our chili, so it's good to have that, that drain. Want to rinse it really well to get all the gassy, um, this, the gases out of it. It's just not good, so you want to rinse it really, really well. And then, once everything is mixed together, uh, I have chili seasoning mix and have one packet per, uh, you know, every pound of meat you put in since I'm doubling the recipe. I have two of these. Uh, the standard recipe just calls for one can of diced tomatoes, one eight ounce can of sauce, one to two cans of dark red kidney, be kidney beans, three quarters cup of um, red cooking wine, and one pound of meat, and a lesser quantity of onions and uh, green peppers. So anyway, I think it's, it's getting warm, so we're going to go ahead and see what happens. We're going to go ahead and put these in. And you can hear the sizzle, so you know it's warm enough. It is cast iron, so you just want to let it warm up. We're going to cook these for two or three minutes. And we just want them to... I'm going to spray a little bit more spray in here. I've never cooked in one of these before, so... This is an experience, so I'm just kind of showing you how this is working. Put a little bit more, uh, and this is uh, organic canola oil cooking spray. Okay, and we're just going to cook it for a couple of minutes until it gets translucent and soft. And we'll, we'll let that's cooking. We're going to go ahead and break out the meat. And this is a very uh, light, very lean turkey meat. I wouldn't advise this for turkey burgers because it's going to be too lean and it's going to be too tough. But for chilies, it's perfect. The way to have chili, of course, you want to use hamburger, you can use hamburger. I'm just kind of showing you how I'm using the uh, Dutch oven for the first time. And it's cooking really nice here. And then as this simmers, you're really supposed to turn it down to medium to low medium heat because this is great for, this actually is great for slow cooking and simmering soups, which is really nice. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And just want to let it get soft, cook it there. And I'll be right back when I've added the meat. All right, I'm back. Putting in the turkey meat now. We're going to go ahead and cook that. Our green peppers and onions are soft enough. Uh, you're just supposed to cook them for two or three minutes until they get soft. And this, I just want to really, and I use, I'm using a uh, silicone spatula. I don't want to mar the surface of the uh, Dutch oven. I don't know. I just don't want to do it. You probably, anybody out there that's experienced with this stuff, you can chime in below and say what kind of utensils you use on this uh, Le Croset cookware. But I want to keep it looking nice, and I use the rubber in my skillets too, cast iron skillets. So we're going to let that cook. And this is relatively low fat. So I'll be back when it's had a chance to cook. Okay guys, I'm back, and now we've got all the turkey, it's all done, and we want it all the pink out, and it's really nice because when you have the light enamel like this, uh, the light enamel will help you gauge how far along you are and you're cooking your meat, making sure it's done, and it's also excellent for slow cook, slow cooking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our other ingredients we're going to add the diced tomatoes. We're going to put that in. Should be a little bit smaller than that, but I just had to use what was on hand. It'll still taste good. So we, I have a spatula here. And we're going to use our, put our tomato sauce in. And I'm going to try to get all the sauce out of the can. I'm going to use that to put the cooking wine in to get all the... Uh, sauce out with the cooking wine. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
What's nice about this recipe is you don't really need a lot of spices because you're using your chili mix. Okay. All right. We got that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the red wine here and then it calls for about a cup and a half. This is the secret ingredient. <laughs> so that's one cup, eight ounces. And it gets all the uh, tomato sauce out and it's starting to get warm. And then we're going to go ahead and do about half. We don't have quite enough, so we're going to open a brand new one. So you want about one and a half cups. You can kind of gauge it and look to see what it looks like. And it's about half full. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and mix all that up. And I didn't drain any of the fat out because this is extremely low-fat turkey. And fat, I think, will give it a little extra flavor. And it's always good to cook on this stuff with a little extra fat anyway when you're cooking with cast iron. That's exactly what this is. One thing I like about this particular pot, it's round as opposed to tall. It is shorter than a lot of the taller Dutch ovens that uh, Le Croisette has on their, their line. And what's nice about it is as the heat spreads and warms up, your cook time won't be quite, you'll save time cooking because you can cook more uh, as opposed to a, a tall, thin stock pot. And uh, this was uh, came together pretty fast. And we're gonna go ahead now and add our chili seasoning. This is, happens to be reduced sodium. So I'm gonna put that in there. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. This is the only one the grocery store had when I was there. My favorite is actually, not McCormick, but my favorite on this is, is Durkee. That's D-U-R-K-E-E. -E. For those that are not familiar with that, it's just the best. It is just awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that all in. Let's go ahead and adjust the camera down so you can see. And we want to actually bring that to a boil. Get all that in there. Make sure your, all your meat is chopped up real small. And I may throw a little bit of, uh, uh, not turmeric. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, let's see if I can find it here. That's terrible. I can't think of it. <laughs> Oh my, I'll, I'll think of it. Oh, cumin. Cumin's also good in chili, and this uh, recipe doesn't really call for it. But uh, here is some cumin, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Maybe about, maybe at between a quarter and a half of a teaspoon. Just a little bit to do it to taste. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. That's the only extra spice that I add. You do have sodium in your sauces, unless you buy no, no salt. And we're just going to bring that to a boil. It's got to cook. And then we're, once it comes to a boil, we'll put our beans in. Actually, I can probably, yeah, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm just going to let this warm up. Then you just want to heat your beans through. Once you've brought this to a boil and simmer that with the beans, probably for about a half an hour to, to an hour, depending on, uh, you know, taste. You can do taste tests to this. Um, but anyway, I am going to be back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this come to a boil, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, it is now boiling, so we want to turn it down probably to between low and medium, and I'm gonna go ahead and add all the red kidney beans in, and I also throw in a few, few garbanzo beans for good measure. And this is why I needed a 7.25 quart Dutch oven. This is just double the recipe. And it, it was really easy to make in here, really easy. I'm just gonna make sure to get this all 
mixed up really, really well. I'm gonna let it simmer probably for about a half an hour. And then we'll enjoy a, a nice bowl of hot chili with crackers or you can uh, make a, uh, what's called a Cincinnati chili and you, you eat this on top of spaghetti. You can also chop up some yellow or white onion on top, some cheddar cheese, which we may do. Um, Parmesan cheese, whatever. But uh, yeah, just making sure I'm getting all this uh, mixed in. And I'll be back when it's all finished. Okay guys, should be done. So we're gonna go ahead and lift our lid here. Oh yes, this is, uh, at least we can eat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid down. I don't recommend doing that at home, it's hot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, don't feel anything sticking to the bottom. You do have to stir it often. Uh, it just makes cleanup a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and ladle it out. And here's the first bowl. Move it up here so you can see a little bit. Okay, you can see that. Beautiful, huh? Okay, and then we'll get the second bowl. One of hubby's favorite, favorite meals. And everything in one pot. Easy that way. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the burner. And this thing will keep it nice and warm. I'm going to go ahead and just take a bite because somebody wanted me to do that. There it is. Mmm. Excellent. You can put cheese on, on top. We'll probably end up doing just Parmesan. And that's it, guys. So here it is. Success the first time out. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or question below. Give it a thumb up and go make it a great day.